Bond has been denied for a man accused of killing a woman on behalf of a Georgia prison gang. WTOC had the only camera in the courtroom today as the judge made his decision about Dennis Kraft. Now, Kraft is charged with murder in the death of Jessica Gerling on uh, behalf of the YSL gang, which claims to run Smith State Prison. Our Shea Schrader was in the courtroom and joins us now with a look at what happened there. Judge Glenn Cheney cited the extreme levels of crime the gang is accused of as his reason for keeping Kraft behind bars today. Prosecutors say Nathan Weeks, a Smith State Prison inmate who investigators say is the leader of the gang and his girlfriend, Keisha Jones, recruited Kraft to murder Gerling in June of 2021. Girl there seems to be too many, too many wheels turning right now for me to put him back into the uh, uh, general population not knowing, you know, because I don't know what the other judges are doing. Those were the judge's words to Dennis Kraft before denying him bond. But those on Kraft's side painted a different picture of him. Kraft's lawyer reading a letter written by Kraft's wife. On behalf of his children, his work, family, and friends, Dennis has always stepped up and been there for school events, sports, and travel sports. He hasn't ever, by choice, missed a beat until now. On my kids' behalf, they are pleading for a bond until this can all be figured out. Kraft's former employer and his brother also appeared in the courtroom, insisting he had good character and a job waiting for him if he were to be released. The prosecution, however, urged Judge Cheney to consider the charges against Kraft. Malice murder, felony murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, tampering with evidence, and violating the RICO Act. We have great concerns uh, if he is out as far as flight, and furthermore, and maybe more importantly, as to tampering with witnesses and evidence, as this is a case steal. An ongoing case that the indictment says has more people involved that investigators don't even know about yet. The judge said the scale of the case is what ultimately made up his mind. If these allegations are true, uh, then it goes beyond the walls and, uh, and, and everybody is in danger. Uh, uh, the overall scheme that's alleged here, and racketeering, murder, uh, the, o the overall scheme was to make sure that, uh, uh, apparently to make sure nobody crossed them while they were at prison. I'm not comfortable at this time in granting bond. Kraft is due back in court on May 11th for more hearings. We'll keep you updated as the case develops.